Hey guys, uh, we're just getting ready to set up our new favorite purchase that we got not too long ago. It's the Kodiak Canvas Tent 10 by 14 Flex Bow. Um, this is the third time we've used it and we wanted to show you uh, the, some of the features about it and how easy it is to set up. So we'll get started on that and show you that uh, process. Hey guys, these are the stakes that come with the Kodiak tent. They're really, really heavy duty, which is kind of nice because if you're like us, we bend them all the time trying to get them into the ground. And we invested in some other metal ones, but they had a plastic tip that always broke. So these ones are 100% metal and really thick and easy to put in and also really easy to pull out. don't have to have the canvas tent pulled so tight um, that it's like ripping at the seams. Just lay it out, hammer them in as they are. Um, there's a total of 14 stakes all the way around. Um, and then once you're done with the stakes, you're gonna move on to the raising of the tent with the crossbar and we'll show you how to do that. I'm gonna show you how you can set up the tension rods and the crossbar that's gonna go across the top of the tent. So you wanna make sure when you're setting it up that you have the knob side facing down if the knob's facing up, we did that on accident one time, and you have to take it apart and do it again. So you want to make sure that it's facing down with the end moving into the middle. Then you take the tension rods. Um, each rod has an end that has a rubber tip. The rubber tip is the side you want to push through just because if you do it the other side, you might maybe poke a hole in it. We've never had a problem with it, but it makes it easier to go in. Okay, and you simply take the end once you've threaded it through the loop and match it up with the metal piece and it will go in, you hear it kind of like pop, you know it's in all the way. Really simple, same thing on the other side. Rubber end in, thread it across this loop. Okay, match it up with that, push. There you go. Okay, so just like I showed you how you put in the tension rods on this side, I went ahead and did the same thing on the other side with this longer pull. <clears throat> Again, making sure that that knob is facing down. So now it's time to put the two ends together. Okay, you'll find in your bag a pole that's shorter than all the other poles, but it is a little bit wider. And what you do is you slide it onto this small end because there is a little button that you can use to um, keep it in place. So once you've slid that on, you can see there's a gap where the poles still meet together. Okay, now it's time to bring the two together. So you do that by taking this concave side with the side with the screw, and you simply just firmly push down, okay? See how it tightens the canvas? And once you've done that, you take that pole you slid on and slide it back through to lock it into place. And there's a little um, bolt on the end that keeps it from sliding too far. And once you have that, it's stuck between the button and the bolt, so it can't fold up on you. All right, so now that we got the top assembled, we're gonna go ahead and raise the sides. Um, these are the poles I showed you earlier. Um, they are hollow, and the reason for that is that knob that I had showed you earlier fits right into the top of this. And I'll show you how to do that. So you lift this up, and then you're gonna put the hollow end into the knob, and then you're gonna simply lift this. Down on the bottom, there's a little hook, and you're gonna go ahead and lift this up into the hook. And that's how you raise the side. All right, so you probably saw me raising the other side. Um, by yourself, it can kind of be a struggle and you probably heard me out of breath because it is pretty heavy. So if you have two people, which we happen to have, uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to raise the side with two people and it makes it a lot easier. Now we've got both sides lifted and a lot easier with the help of my wife. Okay, so this is how our Kodiak tent looks when it's all set up. Um, this is the canopy that kind of hangs out over the front that provides shade for the entrance. If you are in a small campsite where there's a lot of people, it might be worth it to not set up the canopy 
and it's kind of nice with this Kodiak tent that you can just roll up this covering over the door and there are three fasteners across the top which will give you um, access to your door. When we go camping, we almost always set up the canopy because we like the shade and we also like to set up um, a tarp in front with a, wrap, with a rug, we call it a rag rug, something easy that's um, easy to wash because we camp with three little boys and two dogs and they tend to track in lots of dirt and even thistles. So we're going to show you now how to set up the canopy. So for the canopy, it's pretty simple, but I think it's probably a two person job if you want to get it done easy. Um, so you have uh, two of these poles, again, Look. you just slide them together. <laughs> and we got a kid over here who's running Lucky. through thistles with no shoe. Yeah, he's going to be um, sad about that. So you got your pole and this has a little hook on the end and there's already some grommets. I think that's what they're called. Hey, everybody. The, the canopy. And you're going to just slide that in there like this. So Did this is where it's nice to have too, because she can hold it. And then it's going to come with this rope right here which has a hook on it. And the hook's just to provide tension so that you can get the canopy tight to your desired tightness. Um, so what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take one of the knots and it slides over. Which you have to tie that knot too, just so you know. It comes and with one knot. knot tied, but um, yeah, you do need to have a knot that you are comfortable tying to get that to work. So knot over the top, and then you take your hook, and this knot does come with it. And you're gonna put this inside the hook and then it holds it like this and it creates a loop. And what the loop's gonna do is, uh, Coley, he just stole my hammer. hammer. Come Coley. here, Coley, I need the hammer. <laughs> need the hammer. They wanna crack open geodes. We're really cramping their style. So once you've got the loop, you're gonna take the other two stakes that came with the tent. And you're gonna kinda feed them in here. And I like my strings to be a little bit closer to the tent, especially where we have kids and stuff that are gonna be running by and dogs. You don't want them to be hung up on it. So some people will set them up way out tight um, and that's fine. Um, but again, I like mine closer to the pole itself um, so that we can um, prevent hopefully somebody getting hung up on the rope. So you'll stake it in. And with that loop, it's pretty easy because it just holds it. Uh, it's usually easier with mountain ground where it's soft. And then once you've got that, um, if you don't like the angle or the tightness, you can actually adjust it, loosen it, or tighten it. And then we're going to move on to the other side. And sometimes it'll, you can see how it's kind of standing on its own but tilting a little bit. That goes away once you have the other side put on. So same thing, like pull through the grommet. Especially where it's windy, you can see how windy it is here. And this is about to blow away. There's no way I can hold this on there. So she, if you can hold that on there, Marie. And then we'll run the same loop through. Pull it out. Take the knot. Put it right up against the edge again. And like I said, I like to move it up before. Because it's a little easier when it's not got tension on it. And then kind of pull it, especially where the wind's blowing this way, I'm going to kind of pull it out this direction um, and it keeps the canopy tighter that way. And it's sometimes you have to do it a couple times to get it just right, only because the way the poles are positioned and the way the wind blows and stuff. We've had to redo it a couple times, but it's really easy to just pull the stake out and move it a little to the left or right. And then once you've got that in, um, we could adjust this a little bit more, um, pull the string out, and we usually do. get rid of the tension here, and that will give you a straight canopy. And that is the final setup and outside of your canvas tent. Um, and then here in a minute, we'll take you on in the inside and show you how spacious it is and a couple of the features in there. Okay, so last time after we cut, we did end up fixing these poles because they were a little saggy. But as you can see, we moved it just a little bit to the left, restaked it into the ground, and see how this is much more stable and sturdy. Sometimes if you leave it a little wobbly, um, the poles will flex in the wind. But now that it's nice and taut, you can see that you know it, the wind's not going to take it down at all. But now that it's set up, let's show you what the inside looks like. Okay, so the first thing that I really like about our Kodiak tent 
is that there's actually two doors, one in the front and one in the back, and two windows that are the same size as the doors, which is really great to keep airflow going, especially when we camp in really hot places. Come on in and I'll show you another feature. Um, all of these organizational, um, I don't know what you call them, just storage things, they all came with this Kodiak tent. Um, this one we used to just kind of like throw jackets and um, sweaters and things like that. Anything my kids leave on the ground, just toss them up there so that they're off the floor. And then pouches where they can kind of put their sunscreen and whatnot. Down on the ground there's some small pouches which are important to our family because two of us wear glasses and you're always worried they're going to get stepped on when you're camping. And um, this one is really nice to just keep, you know, like deodorant, easy access, sunscreen, things that you're going to use on a daily basis. Um, and then as you can see here is the second window. Um, they zip down all the way. Sometimes we'll leave them halfway like that or even fold them in just so that they're not getting stepped on by kids or dogs. Um, and it's fully adjustable. So, you know, maybe you don't want people to be able to see all the way in while you're laying down so you can leave it half open. And then um, the doors on both sides open and close fully, but they also have um, these uh, tie backs to keep it in place. Once you have it zipped, not only is it the door, but it does have a screen. And the zippers are really heavy duty, so you don't have to worry about it too much. So really, it could be four windows if you, you know, would like it to be that way. Um, now we've kind of got the interior all set up how we like it. Um, we've got three little boys. So the twins that we have sleep on the queen air mattress over here. And then we got a small little, I don't even know if it's considered a twin mattress right here for our other son. Um, the little shelf up here, um, we've thrown a couple of the bags for the air mattresses and sleeping bags and stuff that we'll need to um, load up later. Um, we've got, as you can see, a dog. This is one of our dogs named Gus, and he sleeps in the kennel because he's still a puppy and we're not sure what he'll do in the tent. So we got the kennel here, the other dog just kind of sleeps wherever she wants. And then we've got another queen um, mattress over here. Um, this is for me and my wife. And as you can see, we still have a lot of room right here. Um, we got a lot of room in the front. Um, the nice thing about having all this room in the front is we do a lot of kind of colder weather camping. And so we've got a heater buddy that we can just set up there and it's far enough away from everybody that we don't have to worry about a fire as much. Um, so overall, it's very cozy and nice and big and perfect for a family that um, is going to continue to get bigger as our boys grow. Um, so they're they're nine and eight years old, um, and we want this tent to be able to last us until they're teenagers and out of the house. And so that's why we got the ten by fourteen, and we love it. And uh, we hope you uh, got some help from this video as far as the ease of setting it up, the quality, as you can see, is extraordinary. Um, and uh, hopefully it gives you some ideas and stuff to uh, help you set yours up when you get it.